now because he lives in Spain. <laughs> Mr. Philip Brent, that's right. <laughs> Runner writes the plays, that's him. Only now he writes them in Spain. Now, she's in Spain too, dear. They're all in Spain, there's no one here. Am I in Spain? <laughs> no, I'm not in Spain, dear. I'll look after the house for them. But I go home at one o'clock on Wednesday, only I got a nice plate of sardines to pop my plate up with, because it's the royal, what's it called on the telly? The royal, you know. There's the paper then. And if it's to do with letter house, you'll have to ring the house agents, for they're the agents for the house. Squire, squire, recommender. Who's the other one? No, they're not in Spain, dear. They're next to the phone in the study. Squire, squire, recommender. Hold on, I'll go look. Always the same, isn't it? As soon as you take the weight off your feet, down it all comes on your head. <coughs> and I take the sardines. No, I leave the sardines. No, I take the sardines. No, you leave the sardines and you put the receiver back. Oh, yes, I put the receiver back. And you leave the sardines. And I leave the sardines? You leave the sardines. I put the receiver back and I leave the sardines? Right. We've changed that, have we, love? Uh, no. That's what I've always been doing? Well, I shouldn't say that, Dorothy Precious. <laughs> what about the words, love? Am I getting some of those right? Well, some of them have a very familiar ring. Only it's like a fruit machine in there. Yes, I know that, Dorothy. I open my mouth, I never know if it's going to come out three oranges or two lemons out of an apple. Anyway, it's not midnight yet. We don't open until tomorrow. So, there you are, holding the receiver. I'm holding the receiver. Squire, squire, hack a man, hold on. Squire, squire, recommend. Hold on, don't go away. I'm putting it down. Always the same, isn't it? You put up your feet for two minutes, immediately they come running after you. No. I have a housekeeper, yes, but yeah, this is her afternoon off, so we um, have a place to stay. Come back? Yes, and go out again with the newspaper. The newspaper? <gasps> the newspaper. <sighs> you put the receiver back, you leave the sardines, and you go out with the newspaper. Here you are, love. Sorry, love. Oh, don't worry, love. It's only the technical. No, it's the dress, Gary, honey. It's the dress rehearsal. So when was the technical? So when's the dress? We open tomorrow. Well, we're all thinking of it as the technical, aren't we, love? It's all those words, my sweetheart. Don't worry about the words, Daddy, my pet. It's coming up like oranges and lemons. Uh, love, your, your words are fine. I mean, your words are better than the, <laughs> you know what I mean. Isn't that right? I'm sorry. I mean, OK. <laughs> so he's a, you know, fine, but. Daddy Love, you've been playing this kind of part for long. You know what I mean. All right, uh, Gary Brook, you're on. Dottie's holding the receiver. Uh, no, but here we are. <laughs> We're all thinking, my God, we open tomorrow. We've only had uh, what, a fortnight to rehearse. We don't know where we are, but my God, here we are. That's right, my sweet. Isn't that right, Lloyd? Beautifully put, Gary. Uh, no, but we've got to play Weston Supermare all the rest of this week, and then Yo, Bill. And then God knows where and God knows where else and so on for God knows how long. And well, we're all of us feeling pretty much, you know. I mean, aren't you? I'm sorry. Anyway, you're off. Dottie's holding the receiver. Sorry, Lloyd. I just thought we ought to come right out with it, you know? Yes, I know. Thanks, Lloyd. Okay, Gary. So, you're off. Uh, Lloyd, let me just say one thing. You know, since we stopped, I've worked with a lot of directors, Lloyd. Some of them were geniuses and some of them were bastards, but... I never met one who was so totally and absolutely, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, Gary. I'm very touched. Now, will you please get off the bloody stage? And Brooke? Uh, yes? Are you in? In. Are you there? What? You're out. OK, I'll call again. All right, there you are, holding the receiver. There I am, holding the receiver. I put the receiver back. I leave the sardines. Always the same story, ain't it? Now take the newspaper. I leave the sardines. I take the newspaper. Always the same story, ain't it? It's a weight off your mind and a load off your stomach. And off at last I go. I'm leaving the receiver. <laughs> I have a housekeeper, yes, but this is her afternoon off, so... It <coughs> We have the place entirely to ourselves. I'll just check. <clears throat> Hello? Anyone at home? No, there's no one here. So, what do you think? Great! And all this is yours? Oh, just a 
little shack in the woods, really. Converted Potter Mill, 16th century. It must have cost a bomb. Well, one has to have some place to entertain one's business associates. <laughs> Someone coming at four o'clock, in fact. Uh, Arab chic oil, you know. Right. And I've got to get those files to our missing stock office by four. Yes, we'll only just manage to fit it in. I mean, we'll only just do it. I mean, All right, then. <laughs> uh, we won't bother to uh, chill the champagne. Oh, these doors. Uh, just a handful, really. Study, kitchen, and a self-contained service pad for the uh, housekeeper. Terrific. And which one's the... What? You know. <laughs> the usual offices are here. Oh, uh, fantastic. Now I've lost the sardines. <laughs> oh, no! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought there was no one here. I'm not here. I'm off. Only it's the royal, and you know, where they were the ads, the cupboard and throats, and oh, are you? I'm, I'm from the agents. From the agents? Esquire, Squire, Hackham and Dudley. Oh, which one are you then, Squire, Squire, Hackham and Dudley? And uh, Troublemane. Walking in here as if you own the place. I thought you was a burglar. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I just dropped in to go into a few things. Want to check some of the measurements. Want to do one or two odd jobs. Oh, and a client. I, I'm showing a prospective tenant over the house. What's wrong with this door? Oh, she's thinking of renting it. Her interest is definitely around. That's not the bedroom. The bedroom? Oh, no, no. That's the downstairs bathroom and W.C. Smith. This is the housekeeper, Mrs. Uh, Crockett. Uh, Clackett, dear, Clackett. Oh, hi. She's not really here. Only it's the royal, you know, uh, with the axe. Uh, yeah, uh, don't worry about us. I'll have the sound on low. Uh, well, just inspect the house. Now I lost the newspaper. Uh, I'm sorry, sorry about this. That's all right. We don't want the television oh, to I forgot the sardines. Wait, these damn sardines! Is something wrong with the sardines? Puppy! Driving us all, man. There must be four plates of sardines coming out of Act One alone. I mean, they go here, they go there. She takes them, I take them. I mean, don't you feel it? You know. I'm sorry? The sardines. What sardines? Change the sardines? Ah, uh, yes. Make it four grilled turbot off the bone. I mean, okay, it's all right for you. You're sitting out there. We're up here. We have to do it. I mean, plus we've got bags, we've got boxes. Plus doors, plus words. I mean, you know what I mean. We're not getting at you, Poppy Love. We think the sardines are lovely. I'm just trying to, you know. So what do you want to change, Gary? The bags, the boxes, the doors? We can't start changing things now, love. I'm I mean, just I saying. Words, doors, bags, boxes, sardines, mm -hmm. us. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I've made my point. Certainly have, Gary. Got that copy? Um, right. well... Dottie, from your exit, please. And, uh, Poppy. Yes? Don't let this happen again. Oh. No. <laughs> Sorry, Lloyd, I just thought that we ought to... Do you know what I mean? Uh, of course. Uh, better out than <laughs> you know. Oh, uh, yes, much better. As, uh, as long as Dottie's happy. Absolutely happy, Lloyd, my love. Then do me one small favor, would you, my precious? Anything, Lloyd, my sweet. Uh, take the sardines off the tube. I'm sorry about this. That's all right. We don't want the television, do we? At least she's been in the family for a whole generation. Oh, great. Come on, then. I've got to be amazing so by four. Perhaps we should just have a glass of champagne. Well, take it up with us. Yes, we'll. Oh, don't let my files out of sight. <laughs> no, only. Uh... What? Well, uh huh? She has been in the family for generations. Sardine, sardine. Of course, it's not for me to say, dear, or now we'll just say this. Don't think twice about it. Take the plunge. You'll really enjoy it here. Oh, great. Won't she laugh? Oh, yes, well, yes. <laughs> and we'll enjoy having you, won't we laugh? Oh, well. Terrific. <laughs> sardines, sardines. Can't put your feet up on an empty stomach now, can ya? You see, she thinks it's great. She's even making us sardines. Well, I think she's terrific. Oh, terrific. So, which way? Oh, all right. Uh, before she comes back with the sardines. Up here. Yes, yes. In here. Yes, 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 yes. In another bathroom. Oh, no, no. Always try and get me into bathroom. I mean in here. Black sheets. That is the airing cupboard. This one, this one. You're on a real stage. You can't even get the door open. No, it's Mrs. Clackett's afternoon walk, remember? We 
we have the place entirely to ourselves. stupid I am about doors. Freddy, my sweet, you're doing it perfectly. Uh, as long as it's not me that's broken it. <laughs> and there was Poppy. And God said, be fruitful and multiply and fetch Tim to fix the doors. I love technicals. <laughs> she loves technicals. I mean, isn't she just? I mean, honestly, she loves technicals. I mean, Dottie, where's Dottie? Everyone's always so nice to everyone. <laughs> isn't she just? I mean, you know, she really is. Isn't she? Oh, Belinda's being all, you know. Freddy, my precious, don't you like a nice all-night technical? Uh, the only thing I like about technicals is you get a chance to sit on the furniture. <laughs> oh, Freddy, my sweet, it's so nice to hear you cheering up and making jokes. Uh, what's that a joke? This is such a lovely company to work with. It's such a happy company. Wait till we get to Stockton on Tees in 12 weeks' time. <laughs> Are you all right, Lloyd, my precious? Uh. I'm beginning to know what God felt like when he sat out there in the darkness creating the world. Oh, what did he feel like, Lloyd, my love? I'm very pleased he'd taken his value. <laughs> he had six days, of course. We've only got six hours. <laughs> and God said, where the bloody hell is Tim? Ah, and there the bloody hell was Tim. And God said, let there be doors that open when they open and close when they close. Do something? Doors. I was doing front of house. Doors. Doors? Tim, are you fully awake? Lloyd, he has been putting up the set all weekend. Well, you're not trying to do too much, are you, Tim? Uh, Tim, my love, this door won't close. Yes, yeah, so and the bedroom won't, uh, you know. Oh. <laughs> right. He hasn't been to bed for 48 hours. Well, don't worry, Tim. Only another 24 hours and it'll be the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, he's come down to earth amongst us. All right, listen, since we've stopped anyway. All right, it took two days to get the set up, so we shan't have time for a dress rehearsal. No, wait, no, 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 listen, listen, don't worry about it. Just consider tomorrow night as the dress rehearsal. No, no. no. <laughs> if we can just get through the play once tonight for doors and sardines. That's what it's all about, doors and sardines. Getting on, getting off, getting the sardines on, getting the sardines off. I mean, that's farce, that's theatre. I mean, that's, that's life. Oh, Lloyd. You're so deep. All right, so just keep going. Bang, 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 bang. Bang, you're on. Bang, you've said it. Bang, you're off. And everything will be perfectly... Where's Silsden? Oh, no. Oh, not Silsden. already. Um, Silsden! 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 I thought he was in the front with you. I thought he was round the back with you. <laughs> Is Mr. Mowbray in his dressing room? But now, surely he wouldn't. Not at a technical. Uh, Would he? What who? Silsden, we can't find him. No, 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 surely he wouldn't. Not at a technical. Half a chance he would. Would what? <laughs> oh, come on, my sweets. Be fair. We don't know. Yes, let's not jump to any conclusions. All right, let's just get the understudy dressed. Oh, Tim! Yes? yes? Hurry up with those doors. You're going on as the burglar. Oh, right. He shouldn't have been out of sight. I said he must never be out of sight. He's been good as gold all the way through rehearsal. Yes, because in the rehearsal room, it was all, I don't know, but there we were, do you know what I mean? Yes, there was no set. You could see everyone. Yes, and here it's all just a, you know. Yes, yeah, split into two. There's a front and a back, and instantly we've lost him. He's built in the dressing room. And you've checked the lavatories? Yes. And the scenery dock, and the prop room, and the paint store? Yes. Well, you've worked with him before, of course. All right, all right. Just pick the boots. <gasps> Tim, finish with the doors. All right, get the burglar gear off. Dottie, precious, I am sorry. No, it's my fault. No, Lloyd, no, 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 no. I cast him. One last chance, I said. One last chance. I mean, what can you do? We were in weekly rep together in Peeble. It's my fault, my precious. I shouldn't have let you. I mean, I, this tour for her isn't just, you know what I mean? This is her life saving. Yes, we know that, Daddy. I'm not trying to make my fortune. No, 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 no. of course you're not, Dottie. I just wanted to put a little something by. You know, love. Just a little something so that she could buy a little house, so that she could, I mean, come on, that is not so much to ask. Oh, don't you cry, my sweet. It isn't your fault. I know. I've got something behind my lens. <laughs> yes, you couldn't expect Brooke to keep anyone inside. <laughs> he was standing right there in the stalls before we started. I saw him! Who are we talking about now? No, don't worry, my sweet. We know you can't see anything. Uh, you mean Selston? I'm not blind. I can see Selston. <gasps> Selston? Oh, my 
my God, he's, he's here all the time? He's standing there like Hamlet's father. But yourselves said you gave us a surprise. We thought you were up. Uh, uh, not there. Where have you been, Selzin, you all right, Selzin? Speak to us. Is it a party? Is it a party? <laughs> Is it? How killing. I got it into my head. There was going to be a rehearsal. I was taking a little postprandial snooze back of the stall so as to be ready for the rehearsal. Oh, isn't he lovely? Oh, yeah, it's much lovelier now we can see him. So what are we celebrating? What are we celebrating? <laughs> I've looked in his dressing room. I've looked in the wardrobe. I can't find the gear. Oh. Bill, in the wardrobe? No, Selton. Tim, you need a break. Why don't you go sit down quietly upstairs and do all the company's VAT? VAT. Right. Uh, 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 Tim, just in case he and the gear do walk off together one evening, order yourself a spare burglar costume. Spare burglar? Oh, no, no, no. Make that two spare burglar costumes. One to fit you, one to fit Poppy. I want a plentiful supply of spare burglars on hand for any eventuality. Two spare burglars. He's been on his feet for 48 hours. <laughs> Don't fall down, Tim. We may not be insured. <laughs> so, what's next on the bill? Well, Selzkin, I thought we might try a spot of rehearsal. Oh, I won't, thank you. You won't? No, well, you all go ahead. I'll sit down and watch you. Uh, the beer in the wardrobe. No, 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 it? no, my sweet. He wants us to rehearse. Well, yes, but I think we ought to rehearse, hadn't we? <laughs> yes. Well done, Selzkin. Yeah. Rehearse. I knew you'd think of something. Oh, right. Oh, Linda and Freddy's oh, entrance, yeah. please. Boyd! Oh, what now? The police! The police? They found an old man. He was lying unconscious uh, in a doorway just yes. across the street. Thank you, Puppy. They say he's very dirty and rather no. smelly, and I no. don't Thank you, because, Puppy. Because when you get close to cells. Puppy! No, I mean, if you stand anywhere near cells, then you can't help noticing this very distinctive. <laughs> I'll tell you something, Puppy. Once you get it into your nostrils, you'll never forget it. <laughs> Ah, uh, sixty years now, and the smell of the theater still haunts me. <laughs> Bless him. Tell me, puppy, how did you get a job that requires such lack an understanding? You're not somebody's girlfriend, are you? Don't worry, puppy, my sweet. He truly did not hear. Not hear? Yes, yes, there. Sit down, no. my precious. Go You're back not to on sleep. for another. You're not on for another twenty pages yet. All right, and on we go. Ducky in the kitchen, wildly roasting sardines. Linda and Freddy waiting impatiently outside the front door. Harry and Brooke disappearing tremendously into the bedroom. Time sliding irrevocably into the past. Aren't they sweet? What? Harry and Dottie. Harry and Dottie? Shh! What? You mean they're an item? Those two trample me and Mrs. Crackett? Shh, it's supposed to be a secret. She's old enough to be Shh. his... Shh, didn't you know? Just God, Belinda, honey. I'm just the one with the English degree. I don't know anything. Uh, <coughs> um, what's happening? I shouldn't like to guess, Gary, honey. I mean, what are we waiting for? I don't know what you're waiting for, Gary. Her 16th birthday. What? Or maybe just the cue, Brooke! Oh, you're in a real state. Uh, you're in a real state. You can't even get the door open. Door closed, love. Can't even get the door open. No, it's Mrs. Clackett's afternoon off, remember? We have the entire place to ourselves. Home. Home, sweet home. Dear old house. Just waiting for us to return. It's rather funny, though, us creeping in like this for our wedding anniversary. <laughs> it's damned serious. If Inland Revenue finds out we're in the country even for one night, then goes our claim to be resident abroad. Bang goes most of this year's income. I feel like an illegal immigrant. I'll tell you what I feel like. Champagne. Oh, I wonder if Mrs. Clackett's aired the bed. Die. <laughs> well, yeah. why not? No children, no friends dropping in. We're absolutely <laughs> on our own. <laughs> oh, true. There is something to be said for being a tax exile. Ah, <laughs> bingo, bingo. What? What? Inland revenue may hear us. <laughs> <laughs> what I did with that first lot of sardines, I shall never know. Mrs. Mrs. Clarkin! Oh! 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 oh, you give me a turn. The Archon got out of me boots. Oh, so did mine. We thought you'd gone. Oh, I thought she was in Spain. Uh, we 
are. We are. Okay. You haven't seen us. We're not here. Oh, well, it's like that then, is it? The income tax are after you. They would be if they knew we were here. All right then, love. I haven't seen you. Anybody asked for you, I don't know nothing. Off to bed then, are you? Oh, well. Uh... That's right. No one like bed when they all get on top of you. <laughs> you want me things, look. Oh, yes. Thanks. Oh, and that bed hasn't been aired, love. Oh, um, I'll get a hot water bottle. Letters? What letters? You forward all of the mail, don't you? Well, not the ones from the income tax, I, dear. Uh, well, I don't want to spoil oh, all the time. Oh, good heavens, where are they? I put them all in the pigeon out. In the pigeon out? In the little pigeon out in your desk, love, there. Yes, yes, but I could hear voices. Voices? What sort of voices? Hold it, hold it, hold it. Freddy, what's the trouble? Uh, sorry, Lloyd, you know how stupid I am about moves. Sorry, Gary, sorry, Brooke. It's just my usual dimness, but why do I take the things off the into the study? Wouldn't it be more natural if I, le if I left them on? No. Well, I thought it might somehow be more logical. No. Well, I, I know it's a bit late in the day to go into oh, office. Oh, yes, I, we have several more minutes left before we... Oh, thank you, as long as we're not too pushed. But I've never understood why he carries an overnight bag and a box of groceries into the study to look at his mail. Uh, uh, because they have to be out of the way for my next scene? Uh, I see that. Yes, and my sweet Selsden needs them in there for his next scene. Uh, I see that. Where is he? Is he there? Selsden! 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 Uh, no vows, no burglar alarm. They ought to be prosecuted for incitement. No? No, not yet. Thank you, Selsden. I thought I heard my name. No, no, no. Back to sleep. Another ten pages before the big moment. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, not at all. It's nice to see you. Poppy, put the glass back in. Oh, and uh, Selsden. Yes? Beautiful performance. How kind of you. I don't think I'm quite there yet, though. I even remember the line. Uh, uh, yes, thank you. I understand all of that, but why do I take them? Freddy, why does anyone do anything? Why does that other idiot walk out the front door holding two plates of sardines? Hey. What? No, I'm not getting at you, Gary Love. Oh, of course not, Love. I mean, why do I? But I mean, right, when you come to think about it, why do I? Who knows? <laughs> the wellsprings of human action are deep and cloudy. Maybe something happened to you as a small child which made you frightened to let go of groceries. Or it could be genetic. Yes, or it could be, you know. Uh, yes, it very well could be. But, yes, thank you. I, I understand that. But I'm not exactly Betty, sure. What I'm telling you, I don't know. I don't think the author knows. I don't know why the author came into this industry in the first place. I don't know why any of us came into it. But, no, 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 all the same. If you could just give me a reason I could keep in my mind, I'm right. absolutely sure What's that... What's reason, Freddie? You take these groceries into the study, Freddy, honey, because it's just slightly after midnight, and we're not going to be finished before we open tomorrow night. <gasps> Correction. Before we open tonight! And on we go. Come Freddy's exit with the grocery. Lloyd, sweetheart, his wife left him this morning. Freddie. Freddie, I think the point is you've had a very great fright when she mentions income tax and you're feeling very exposed and insecure and you need something familiar to hold on to. Yes, thank you, Lloyd. Thank you. That is most helpful. Bless you, my sweet. And on we merrily go. Uh, yes, but I could hear voices. Yes, 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 but I could hear voices. Voices? What sort of voices? Yeah, people's voices. And there's no one here. Oh, darling, I saw the door handle move. It could be someone from the office checking out. I still don't see why I've got to put on your tie to look. This is Crackett. This is Crackett. One has to set an example for the stop. Oh, look, show our sardines. Oh, come back. What? You can't go up. That's it, boy. You can't go downstairs and be like that. Why not? Mrs. Crackett! Mrs. Crackett! What has certain obligations? Sardines here, sardines there. It's like a Sunday school outing. Oh! You're still poking around, are ya? Yes, uh, still poking. Uh, well, still around. In the airing cupboard, were ya? No, no. Uh, well, uh, just checking the sheets and pillowcases. How are you going through the inventory? Uh, uh, Mrs. Blake.
Clackett. Clackett, there, Clackett. Mrs. Clackett, is there anyone else in the house, Mrs. Clackett? Oh, I haven't seen no one there. I thought I heard voices. <gasps> voices? There's no voices here, love. You must have imagined them. And the Lord above. I beg your pardon. Oh, good Lord above. The study door's open. Drop 
got it out here somewhere. Yes. Good. Keep looking, Selsden. Only another five pages. <laughs> All right. Uh, you can't stand here like this. Like what? In your underwear. Okay. I'll take it off. In here. In here. Darling, this glue. Is it the sort you can never get unstuck? Oh, Mrs. Clackett's made us some sardines. What? A hot water bottle. I didn't put it there. Oh, I didn't put it there. Someone in the bathroom and filling hot water bottles. Oh, you don't think there's something creepy going on? Darling, are you coming to bed or aren't you? What did you say? Perhaps come on a little earlier. <laughs> Only it 
seems there's a bit of a hiatus between Freddy's exit and my entry. No, 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 Sheldon, listen, don't worry. I've got it. Yes? How about coming on a little earlier? We are obviously thinking along the same lines. <laughs> Am I putting him on or is he putting me on? Right, from your exit, yes, yes. I've heard the people getting stuck with a problem, but this is ridiculous! No bonds, no burglar alarm. They ought to be prosecuted for incitement. No, but sometimes it makes me want to sit down and weep. When I think I used to do banks, when I remember I used to do bouillon vaults, what am I doing now? I'm breaking into paper bags. <laughs> right, what are they offering? Oh, one microwave oven. <laughs> what? Fifty quid? Hardly worth lifting. Uh, junk, junk. Oh, don't mind if I do. Ah, oh, where's his desk? No, they all say the same thing. Yes, they all say the same thing. Yes, line? It's hard to adjust to retirement. What? It's hard to adjust to retirement. Hard to what? Adjust, adjust to, to retirement! retirement! It's also very hard to hear when everyone talks at once. <laughs> and the prospective tenant naturally wishes to know if there's been any history of paranormal <laughs> phenomena. Oh, yes, dear. It's all nice and paranormal. I, I mean, has anything ever dematerialized before? Has anything ever <gasps> flown about? Flown about? No, the things do themselves on their own true fate, just like they do in any house. I shall warn my prospective tenant. She's inspecting the study. Ah! There's a man in there. No, no, there's no one in the house, lad. Look, look, he's, he's searching for something. Oh, I can't see no one. You can't see him? But this is extraordinary. But where is my prospective tenant? I left her in there. She's caught my prospective tenant has disappeared. <gasps> oh, my God. Now what? There. Where? The sardines. Oh, the sardines. You can see the sardines. I can see the sardines. I can see the way they're going, too. I'm not letting these sardines out of my hand. But where is my prospective tenant? I'm going to be opening sardines all night, in and out of here like a cuckoo on a clock. The kid? The kid? No, I miss the violence. <coughs> I miss having other human beings around to terrify. Where's she gone? Licky! Ah, oh, it's nice to hear a bit of shouting and screaming around you. All this quiet gets you down. Licky! 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 I'm going to end up talking to myself. Darling! Darling! This stuff that eats through anything, it eats through trousers! Darling, you don't think that if it eats through trousers, it goes on and eats... Oh, no. Oh, no, darling! This is an emergency, quick! I mean, if it eats through absolutely everything... Oh, no, no! I can feel it! It's eating through absolutely everything! Oh, there's something evil in this house! Oh, oh the inadvertent! Oh, no. He's back! No! No? I'm not here! He's not there! I must go! Stay! No, thank you! Speak! Only in the presence of my lawyer! Only in the presence of you? Hold on! You're not from the other world! Oh, yes, yes, Marbella! You're just some kind of intruder! Well, nice to meet you! Uh, I mean, have a sardine! No, no you're oh, not! You're some kind of sex maniac! No! And you've got something to make it! I'm going to come right downstairs! Oh, I uh, see you've already got some sardines, so if there's nothing else I can give you, I think I'll be running along. Uh, this is really about it when the police will come back. <laughs> Hello, police? Yes, someone has broken into my house. <laughs> or rather, someone has broken into someone's house. Yes, but he's a sex maniac. I left a young woman here. What's happened to her? No one knows. There's a man lurking in the undergrowth. I'm sorry, the young woman has 
has reappeared. Are, are you all right? No, he almost saw me. He almost saw her. <laughs> no, but he's a burglar as well. He's taken our things. Well, the things are here. And the things have come back. <laughs> uh, so what we're really missing is a plate of sardines. Oh, here are the sardines. Has we found the sardines? <laughs> this is the police. You want the police here in my underwear? So what am I saying? I'm saying, let's say no more about it. I thought something terrible had happened to you. It has. I know him. You know him? He's just in my office. Well, he's just an ordinary sex maniac. Yes, but he mustn't see me like this. You have to keep up certain standards if you work for inland revenue. Well, uh, put something on. I haven't got anything. Uh, there must be something in the bathroom. Uh, bring the sardines.
I'd never see you again. Well, would you believe it? What are you doing here like this? What are you doing here like that? Uh, me? I I'm taking all files on tax evasion to Lynch Revenue in Basingstoke. <laughs> oh! So where's my other sheet? Ah! A house of heavenly peace. I rent it. Hold on, hold on. I know that face. He's not a sheik. Who's that sex maniac? <laughs> yes, it's my husband. What, what? Trousers. You take all the clean shapes. What, what? Trousers, trousers. You snatched my bath mat. What, what, what? You tossed me aside like a broken china doll. Right. And to top it all off, you've got your trousers on. And what you not do with my little girl? Stop. Stop, stop. It's a question of authenticity, pretty. Do Arab potentates wear trousers underneath their robes? I don't know, maybe they do. But not round their ankles, pretty. <laughs> not round their ankles. I'm so sorry, it's just frightfully difficult doing a quick change without a dresser. I'll get Tim to help you. Where's Tim? Tim! Come on, Tim! Uh, sorry? Oh yes, you're acting. I must have dropped off down there. Never mind, Tim. Thank you. Do something? No, 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 let it pass. We'll just struggle through on our own. Tim has to sleep behind the sofa while all the rest of us run round with trousers round our ankles. All right, Freddy, you'll just have to do the best you can on your own. All right, and on we go. Something else, Freddy? But since we've stopped anyway. Why did I ask? Uh, Lloyd, you know how stupid I am about plot. Oh, I know, Freddy. Yes, uh, may I ask? Another silly question. All my studies in world drama lie at your disposal. Oh, yes, thank you. I've never understood why exactly the sheik just happens to be Philip's double. Because he comes in and we all, <laughs> I mean, and then, and then we all, I just, I mean, that's the joke. Uh, I see that. My sweet, the rest of the plot depends on it. Uh, I, I see that, but. It is rather a coincidence, isn't it? I it is rather a coincidence, Freddy, yes. <coughs> Until you reflect that there was once an earlier draft of the play. Uh, oh, oh, now unfortunately lost to us. Uh, but in this, the author makes it very clear that Philip's father as a young man traveled extensively in the Middle East. I see. <laughs> oh, I see, that is very interesting. I thought you'd like that. Oh, do you think, yeah. But now, will the audience get it? Oh, well, you've got to tell them, Freddy. Looks, gestures, that's acting. Right? Uh, yes, thank you, Lloyd. Thank you. Yes, and it'll be even more powerful when you do it. No trousers. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry. All right, can we just finish the act, please? From uh, Belinda's beautiful line, you toss me aside like a broken china door. <laughs> What you're all going to do when I'm off to Richard III and you're here on your own. <laughs> all right, you toss me aside like a broken china door. You toss me aside like a broken china door. <laughs> and what you're up to with my little girl down in Basingstoke, I won't ask. But I'll tell you one thing, Vicky. Look! I'm oh, sorry. Come on, love. We're two lines away from the end of the act. I don't understand. Give her the line! say to you, I'll tell you one thing, Vicky, and you say to me, what's that, Dad? I don't understand why the sheik looks like Philip. <laughs> Poppy, bring the book. Is that the line, Poppy? I don't understand why the sheik looks like Philip. Let's consult the author's text, shall we? And make absolutely sure. Well, I think it's... Uh, yes, there it is. It's, it's what's that? Dad! Yes, that's the line, Brooke, love. We all know you've worked in very classy places up in London where they let you make up the play as you go along, but, but we don't want that sort of thing here, do we? Not when the author has provided us with such a, a considered and polished text. Not at one o'clock in the morning, not two lines away from the end of Act One, not when we're all about to get a tea break before we all drop dead of exhaustion. We merely want to hear the line, what's that? That's 
soul. I'm not being unreasonable, am I? Does it say exit? Oh dear, now she's going to wash her lenses away. <laughs> oh, good lord. Oh dear, any other sauce I thought. Yes, I thought it was going to be Poppy when he finally. It's you know. usually Poppy. Uh, isn't it, love? I suppose that was all my fault. I... Yes, but why pick on a. Yes, know? why Brooke? I thought it was rather sweet, actually. Uh, uh, sweet? Trying to pretend they're not having a little thing together? A little thing? Lloyd and Brooke? Didn't you know? Brooke and Lloyd? Oh, where do you think they've been all weekend? Oh, good lord! You mean that's why Lloyd wasn't here when uh, poor old Tim did? Put the Put set up back to front. Oh, shit. I all right. All was forgiven. I was irresistible. I think I'm going to be sick! Oh, no. Um, good lord. You, you mean... Uh, oh, great Scott! Oh, I yes. see something I didn't know. Oh, I think I'm going to faint! Oh, yes, yes, uh, sit down, love. Um, quick, do your meditation. Uh, that is something she didn't know. <laughs> Shush, love. Two weeks rehearsal, that's all we've had. Whatever next? Oh, I'm just excited. Oh, yeah. Here he comes. Is she all right, love? She'll be fine in a moment. Something she ate, probably. Uh, yes, yes, and this one's feeling a bit... Uh, you know. Yes, well, I'm feeling a bit, you know myself. I think I'm going to... Which? Faint? Or be sick? Well, I need that tea break. You're certainly overdoing it at the moment, love. Look, can we please just have the last line of the act? Last line? Me? Oh, all right. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, Vicky. What? When all around is strife and uncertainty, there's nothing like a... a what? A good old-fashioned <laughs> plate of sardines! What did she say? A good old-fashioned plate... Oh, uh, a good old-fashioned plate of... Uh, what? Sardines! <laughs> and curtain. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.